you some quick tips and tricks on this card that I made using the Nothing's Better Than stamp set. Um, with this stamp set, you have coffee, cookies, cocktails, and chocolate, and lots of greetings that go with them, and of course, all the images. This is a photopolymer stamp set, so it's really easy to line things up. So let's get started. You can see for the greeting down here, I used a special new punch that we have in our new catalog. It is called the Lovely Labels Pick a Punch. So what it is, it's basically six punches in one. You can see here the difference in the shape at the top. And it has three different sizes for each one that you can use. So it's half inch, three quarter inch, or one inch for each. Now with this punch, you can make them obviously different lengths, but make sure that they're pretty well cut to fit the groove. So you're gonna fit it in the groove. I usually tend to turn it upside down just to make sure that I have it straight on this side while holding it, okay? And you're going to punch it. And then let's do the other side. So this would be for a kind of a longer greeting. So just making sure that that's in the center. So you can see for the first one, I didn't take as much care. And on this side, it's not centered, but this side it is. So just taking those extra few seconds to look at the back and make sure it's centered makes a big difference with this punch. So that one is the half inch on this side. We'll do the half an inch or sorry, that's, yeah, the half inch. Then this is the three quarter inch, which fits in the following groove right here. So again, we're just gonna look on the underside, make sure that it's there in the center, and punch, and then do the other side. And of course, each shape is slightly different at the ends here because it does more of this shape. So this one here, if I hold it up, you can see the shape of the three quarter inch. Now let's do the one inch. So again, we're gonna feed that through. See, sometimes it'll catch, and that's another reason why turning it upside down kind of helps, is you can make sure that it actually gets to the end, okay? So let's go about there. Okay, and then we're going to do the other side again. Now, it does coordinate this punch. It comes with a bundle with the Lovely You stamp set. I actually don't own that stamp set, so I have looked through my stamps to see what other or script stamps, ones with nice cute words on them, will fit on this punch. And for the previous card that I just showed you, those ones, the because adulting is hard, fit perfectly. Okay, so there's the one inch of that shape. So you can see, where'd my other one go? I've already lost it. But there's the two there. Now let's look at the other side. We're going to do our one inch. And it's more of a squared edge, which is kind of a neat shape as well. I haven't used this one on a card yet, but just wanted to show you how it all worked. The three quarter inch. And it'll give you this shape here. Now let's do the big ones. So the one inch shape. I find the one inch, you have to kind of press it in a little bit more than the other sizes. And the one inch shape will give you a lot more options as far as what greetings you can use with it. There you go, that's the shape for that one. So it's kind of a cool punch. It comes obviously with the six shapes, six sizes, and if you do want the coordinating stamp set, you can get it on page 22 of the catalog. It's called the Lovely You Bundle. And when you get the bundle, you'll get the stamp set and the punch at 10% off versus if you were buying them individually. So that is my first tip. Now, my second tip I was gonna show you on this card is how I got the cocktails kind of a different color, as you can see. 
So all I did is I took a scrap piece of Whisper White cardstock and I used the Stampin' Blends in the light and the dark and I just colored that cardstock kind of mix dark light dark light and then I just punched it out. So it made this cool effect. I was going to try and do some other cards with like different colors on it to see how it looked but I really like this idea. Now the last thing I wanted to show you is these little beautiful glasses. I don't know, I'm going to try and show you close. But all I did once I got it all stamped together is I added some fine tip glue pen and just did the edges, like the outsides of where the color is first and then filled in the actual shape using that glue to make it three dimensional. Okay, now I find the middle one worked the best because, and originally I was trying to get rid of the bubbles, but this one turned out really cool. So you can see hopefully this one here has all of these cute little bubbles and it makes it look more like a drink, like a glass that's fizzy. So in the future, if I made a card like this again, I would actually play around and get more bubbles. And I think by shaking the glue, you actually get more air bubbles in it and then you could get a little bit more of this. But I love the stamp set. I think it's super cute. It's new. It's got the cookies and the coffee and the chocolate. And many of these, like these two here, they'll go with the um, lemon or lime. And then the little, tr um, oh my goodness, I'm at a loss for words, the umbrella. And then your cookie, you can do it in two different colors. Same thing with these and these. So thanks so much for watching, and if you have any questions, just let me know. Make sure you like, comment, and I will see you on the next one.